What up guys, iBlindFire925 here, and I'm doing, um, a gameplay on, uh, what's it called, on Call of the Dead, and I'm on Wave 34, I got all eight perks, look at that Uno Dos Tres, I don't know the rest of the Mexican is, but, um, I'm about to be Wave 35, and I'm gonna quickly show you a strategy of what I did, no hacks, nothing, and, so, I'll show you. If I can find the last crawler, that'd be awesome. So I'm pretty much found them. All right. So wave 35. I'm gonna do a quick strategy. I just got the Wonder Wolf because I killed George, and I'm gonna quit after this. You guys are gonna see. It. But I'm gonna do a strategy because this strategy has worked really well. But I'm gonna have to do this. Video is gonna be quite long, guys. So bear with me because I'm using the Wonder Wolf and. I gotta hurry get rid of this quick because it only gets 11 kills and I'm gonna, after this, I'm gonna show you what I use for my setup. So the beginning's always gonna be pretty hard. I'm just doing a basic strategy. And look at this. All eight perks. It is possible to get them in Call of the Dead. Just kill George a bunch. You have to do the, um, to get the Wonder Wolf, you have to do the Easter Egg. I'd recommend it to do it on Solo. If Trey, if Trey watches this video in Asian Thunder and AKA Matt, you guys watch this um we all know why i dislike trey very much so i just did it on solo it's way easier trust me you don't have to rely on your friends because you never want to rely on your friends because they'll usually screw you on the easter egg because somebody will disconnect so you see the strat i'm running basically you mainly want to watch this one that spawns there there's one that spawns here there there i'm repeating them and then here so gonna be doing this. The Wonder Wolf's pretty cool. I like it more than the Thunder Gun because I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it right. But I like it more because I think it's just way cooler. And I, I just did the Easter Egg yesterday last night. Or this morning actually. Pretty early in the morning. So this is a playthrough. I'm just basically running a train. What kind of train? A zombie train. Uh, hopefully this is recording. Cause if this somehow gets deleted, I'll cry. No, I really wouldn't. But I also did a let's play on Shangri-La. Oh no, let's play a Shangri-La one. And I got down in that video. And actually, how I got down is I didn't have the shrink gun out. And at that part, it, when you have to watch that before, like watch that one also. And that's uh, how I got to around 35 on Shangri-La, no hacks or anything. Um, that strategy really works. Just don't make the mistake I did, because I had Mustang and Sally's with sleight of hand, so I could spam them. But right around those tight corners, always keep out your shrink gun. The JGB something something. It's, it's really helpful. And I think... So... Hopefully I can speed this up, because, you know, I don't want a long upload. Just basically want to juke out the zombies like Emmett Smith, you know. Or whatever, you know, running back she like. She's probably not good because you know Emmett Smith is the best. Yeah. So if you guys want me to do a Kino one, I could do that. If you want me to do one for every map, I'll do that, because you know I've been enjoying myself playing zombies. It's way funner than just playing Black Ops and multiplayer because that gets dull. Currently, me and my cousin are currently recording for a Black Ops montage. It's probably going to release, we release like, probably a couple weeks before Modern Warfare 3, so, you know, that'll always be good. I gotta hurry and finish this thing off. Because this is actually good. It saves a lot of ammo for the rounds. Look at this. If I get on round 36, you know, that'll be all dandy and such. Come on. Let's just hurry and get this over with. Oh, I missed. Look how it extends. This is, this weapon's beastly. So, as you can see, I did no hacks. So, we're fairly easy. I'm actually gonna pretty much quit out because I'm just tired of doing this. I've actually finally gotten bored. I'm not like dead on board, but yeah, it's pretty bad. I 
think this is the last zombie. So, this is going to be my setup. This is amazing. Oh, I'm going to show you how you use it. But now it takes, it might take three now. But on round 34, it takes two. So, with the scavenger pack-a-punch. And I'm pretty much going to use this. But just hold this out because, you know, you run faster. And once I get a big train, and the tip is that you got to keep a big train so you don't, like, get screwed over. So I'm just going to do one run, and then I'm pretty much going to close the video off. I don't know, because none of my friends have gotten this far, because, you know, they some scrubs. And my parents are yelling to turn off the highlight. So, I'm making a video, Dad! And, so, yeah, you guys had to hear that. There is no editing crap, so... Bear with me if my parents keep on yelling. So this is what you do. So that's it, basically. See? That's the strategy. So... I have all perks. So I'll see you guys later. There's the strategy.